how do you tell if you have depression or how do you tell if your symptoms are changing or what you're trying is working or not working? That's what today's video is all about. Now every time I went to the doctor, I would have some friendly banter with the receptionist and then she would give me, or he would give me, this. Fact nine. It's just nine questions asking you about your past two weeks. You answer them based on a range of zero to three, not at all, several days, more than half the days, or nearly every day. The questions include little interest or pleasure in doing things, feeling down, depressed, or hopeless, trouble falling or staying asleep, feeling tired or having little energy, poor appetite or overeating, feeling bad about yourself or that you are a failure or have let yourself or your family down. Trouble concentrating on things such as reading the newspaper or watching television, moving or speaking so slowly that other people could have noticed, or the opposite. And last but not least, thoughts you would be better off dead or of hurting yourself. So you fill everything out, you add up all your scores, and then bam, you have some data. For a long time, I found this super frustrating that every time I'd go to the doctor's office, I would have to fill one of these things out. And every so often, my doctor would pull out all my questionnaires Plug them into the computer, pull up a graph. See, Sean, when you weren't taking your medication, you were in moderate to severe depressions. But when you do take your meds, you're only in the minimal to mild depression range. All right, you win, I'll keep taking my pills. This experience was so eye-opening to me that I started filling this out on my own at home. Every two weeks I would fill it out instead of twice a year like I was doing with the doctor. I was doing my own little experiments with depression too. I found that meditation lowered my score. I found that physical activity lowered my score. I found that doing cognitive behavioral therapy lowered my score. But on the other side, I found that stressed raised my score. Eating crappy foods raised my score. And not getting enough sleep also raised my score. Obviously not meditating, doing co cognitive behavioral therapy and being sedentary raised my score too. I get a lot of questions from people asking me, I don't know if I'm depressed. Is this person depressed? Am I depressed? I don't, I just don't know. I send them this, nine times out of 10 people see, oh geez, I'm moderate to severely depressed. And then they go get help because they have some numbers. What's your score? What's your trends look like? I hope this helps. Use it as a tool at home. Use it as a tool within the doctor's office. And remember, there are always options if you are in a deep, dark, black hole even if you can't see them. And if you can't see one, let me be that option for you. And we can get you the help you need. Life is meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there. Share this with somebody who you think it could help. Yeah.